Thanks for joining us on WLM-TV at the Wyoming State Fair in Douglas. This is their 99th celebration this year. In 2012, they'll be celebrating 100 years of the Wyoming State Fair. Now today, we're checking out the parade, the fair. We're going to talk to some special guests, some people enjoying the parade, and we're excited to take you along with us. We're here at the new Wyoming Mercantile Building, and I'm here with Cindy Gerritsen Weibel, who is the Agribusiness Director of the Wyoming Business Council. Hello. Hi, thanks for coming. Thanks for letting us take a minute of your time. And so tell us a little bit about this great building that you have. Well, this is the first year that we've had a permanent location for the Wyoming Made Products at State Fair. Uh, we just completed the building in, in the end of July, so it's very, very exciting for us. That's great. Now this, we've been looking around a little bit. The products all in here are from Wyoming people, Wyoming produced, Wyoming made. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. Every company in here is a Wyoming company and they have uh, produced the product themselves. So some of the beads may not be, you know, made in Wyoming, but it's all composed in Wyoming. So the value added is done here. Absolutely. Well, that's great. And so this supports Wyoming businesses and also gives uh, the fairgoers an opportunity to learn about who's out there and the artisans and different people in Wyoming that make things for us. Absolutely. We, this supplements some of the other things we do to promote Wyoming made products, a uh, catalog, an online venue as well. And this is just a way to showcase those products and expose a lot of people in Wyoming to those products. Great. And so for the people that aren't familiar with the catalog or the website, can you give us that information, where to find it? Yeah, go to the Wyoming Business Council website at wyomingbusiness.org, wybusiness.org, w and just check it out there or let, us, let anybody uh, Google Wyoming Business Council and you can find that. Okay, great. Well, thanks for the time and congrats on the new building. Thank you. It's very <laughs> exciting. Yeah, thanks. Well, we're down here at the State Fair at the fairgrounds and we found a very interesting exhibit. Hi. Hi there. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? I am spinning Wyoming sheep wool. And what I'm doing is it, this is a thread that you can sew your clothes with. Um, it's also really fine. You can make lace out of it and you can also use it in your sewing machine. So we're hoping to promote the Make It With Wool contest throughout the state. And when the children construct their clothing, they can go ahead and even use uh, the wool threads. Oh, wow. Now, I haven't heard of this contest. Where do we find more information about it? The Wyoming, the Make It With uh, Wool is throughout every county. And you can talk to either 4-H leaders or your agriculture department or the extension office. And they'll explain it and, and give you the rules. And if the kids want to find out about it now, they can start on their projects for next year. Well, we're here on the Midway, and we had a chance to stop by and visit with some people that raised some alpacas here, so I'm going to let them do the talking. Hi. Hi. I'm Vicki Horn. We're with North Platte Alpacas out of Glen Rock, Wyoming. And um, this is my husband, Francis. Hi. Hi. And our son, Dusty. Hi. And uh, we've been raising alpacas. It's going on six years now. We raise them for their, their fiber or their wool, if you want to term it that way, and for breeding stock. And... Uh, we're involved with the 4-H youth group here in Converse County, and they have a great time showing obstacle course and showmanship and costumes kind of thing with that. So it's been a lot of fun. We enjoy it a lot. Well, at the end of a long day at the State Fair, we're enjoying riding the tractor around and catching some of the sights and sounds, as you can tell by the bumps, but we had a great day at the State Fair. We enjoyed the parade, met some special guests. We saw some of the fairgoers, the new uh, Wyoming Mercantile is open. If you haven't been to the State Fair before, be sure to come back in 2012 as they celebrate their 100th anniversary. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on WLM-TV. <laughs>
They all ask about you.